Oh, I'm David, aka Cooking Soul, and I'm from Valencia, Spain. I'm a basketball fan. I'm a dad of three. I'm a music lover. I'm not a producer. I'm an artist. I can do a lot of different styles. What most people know me for, like the soulful type stuff, like boom bap, jazzy, soulful type beats. My older brother is a DJ, so when he will go to work, his room will be for me. I wasn't like Grandmaster Flash with it, but I was good enough to make loops. So that's how I started DJing. And then when he would come from work, he would see that everything is, and then he would beat my ass. <laughs> I think he, he's really proud because he's like, he always tells me like, you're there because of me. Also, my mom was a James Brown fan. That's how I started DJing and then beat making came later when I was like 16. It all started like getting people's emails through MySpace. I had like 2,000 emails and I would just, every time I make a beat, I would just send it. Because I wanted rappers from America to be on my beats. So I work with everybody all around, like from West Coast to East Coast, old school legends to, to new school. I think the first one in America was Ali Vegas. And then it was The Game, the second one. So when that happened, I remember I cried. I played that shit as loud as I could. Then I told my mom, I made it, I made it. <laughs> like, to me, it felt like a Grammy. Sometimes I just hear something. You know, it could be a beat that somebody else made. It could be a song that I can think about, like that I can flip or that I can use, or it could be a melody. It could be something that I'm watching. Anything that sounds good to my ears that I'm like, hola, hola, what was that? I look at it like basketball, to be honest. You know, Kobe will wake up at six and shoot. I'll make sure that I'm on top of my sampling game, on top of my beat making, you know, I'll be on point. Man, stems has changed my life, has changed my production game for sure to like another level. The way I approach music is completely different because I know that I have these options that I didn't have before, like taking the vocal out of here, taking the the, the horns out of there. You could do so many things with it and so fast. But that's what I'm saying. Like, as I'm listening to this, I'm listening to the drums and I'm like, I can take the drums. Before I would not even think of the drums because this, this, this is not usable. I would just be like, Okay, I can use that, I can use that guitar, I can use that thing. But now with stamps, I can just use these drums. And it's just, you know what I mean? It's crazy. It really is. I usually start with the drums because the drums always drive me in a different way. I just go somewhere different. So the first thing we do is sink it, and we took it down, and we got ourselves a loop. This is a nice percussion, so we're gonna filter it. So we got a nice background percussion going on. Okay, so this is the second layer of drums that we use, the second sample. So we chop that up. So we're doing this. So we have that. Now we put this on top, all together. Man, that shit is nasty, bro. Now 
The more I listen to it, the more I like it. This is nice, man. All right, so this is the sample, the main sample that we use for the melodies and chops. <laughs> Since we can, because of Seattle's stems, now we can, and we already have two different drums playing, two different layers of drums, I don't want another layer of drums. So what we can do now is take the drums out. So let's do that. Also, we want to tune this down, one. The sample has a nice bass line, so I'm just gonna pump up the bass, you know, turn up the lows. And because we took out the drums, when I pump up the lows, it doesn't mess up the sample so much because there's no drums, so there's more bass. Yeah, so of course we don't want that loop to just be repetitive, so we want to create a second pattern. So this is the second pattern, you know. Wish we could just make a Remy, huh? Let's put 50 <laughs> on there, like, don't clear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we gonna want to duplicate the sample and do like a bass solo, going with the drums in a different sequence. Take the drums out, take the melody out, take the vocals out. Bass player was mad, like he was playing the first part and then the, the, the second part he was mad, like mm, not loud. But the good thing is that we can put different volume on each pad. So if the if the bass is lower than on this pad, for instance, then this one we can just turn it up to match it. Okay, so I want to, I want to have some some vocal chops on it, like some yeah, yeah. Uh, make it funky, you know. Oh, I want it nasty. Yeah, man, look at it. You got to work something. Let me get down into it. Let me get down into it. Let me get down into it. When Stamps wasn't here, he would just. Equals it out a little bit. I want it nasty. You still have the drums in the back, but with the magic of stems, you can just get the vocals only. Get down into it. It's magic, bro. It's magic. Like, how is this even happening? How, Sway? How? Like, I want to know. Get down into it. I want to know. This is going to be the master. While I'm making the beat, I'm already mixing. 
when I'm done, I just tweak a couple of things with my master presets, whatever. If I want to do something analog to, to the sample or something, I just put it through the SP or put it through the 303, whatever, and then put it back in and finish it. Make the beat, mix master here, boom, comes out. Studio is the first step and the last step, indeed. There's nothing else I need. Some people might see this and be like, I'm good, I have my, my formula. No, you're not. You need to try this, and then you can talk about it. When you try, it's gonna blow your mind. And it's really like learning a new skill without learning it because it's just one click. But it's the way you listen to the music that changes. This is really important for me. I, and I mean that. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys, you know. I really mean that shit. This kid's got his hoies. Cooking so, 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 so. I want to nest it. Oh.